Here we go, the last example for section 2.4. Glad you're here, class. We are going to determine uh, whether this relationship stated above holds for all sets A, B, and C. So the relationship we're looking at is A union and in parentheses B intersect C. And we want to know if that's always going to be equal no matter what sets I pick, A union B in parentheses intersect a union C in parentheses. Now we're not going to just pick specific sets. We want to know if this is always true. So notice what I've done down at the bottom of the screen is I have given you the diagram for uh, a Venn diagram containing three sets with each of the different regions labeled. So for instance, region one, which I'm going to circle right here, region one is the region that represents A only, nothing else. Region 5. Region 5 represents the intersection of all three sets. And I could continue on to tell you what each of the regions mean, but you can read about that in section 2.4 on page 68 and 69 of your textbook. What we're going to do is we're going to use that diagram down there in order to show whether or not this relationship is true for all of my sets. So here I go, I'm going to rewrite the relationship right here, A union, and then I've got parentheses, B intersect C, and I want to know is this equal to, for all sets, A union B intersect A union C. And so I'm going to just draw a T underneath this, and I'm going to put the bar of the T underneath the equal sign, and we are going to determine what regions are represented by the left and the right side. So the regions, like puzzle pieces that I would put together to create uh, A, are everything in the blue circle down at the bottom. And so when I look down at the blue circle right here that I am tracing with my pen, the regions that are contained within the blue circle are region 1 and region 2 and region 4 and finally region 5. I'm going to see if I can get the eraser tool to work here uh, to kind of clean this up. Oh, look how nice that that is. All right, so now I go back to my, my pen. Sorry about all the stuff on the screen. And so now I need to know what region, what puzzle pieces are represented by B intersect C. So where do the circles for B and C overlap? This pink circle and the black circle. Well, you can see they intersect at this football-shaped region. And inside there, I have regions 5 and region 6. And so now, to complete the left-hand side, I want to know what I get when I union the two things together, A and B intersect C. Remember, the union represents whatever is in either set A or in the sets that, that is represented by the parentheses. And so looking above, that is region 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 and a six. It's basically every one of the regions represented right here glued together. And that gives me what I need for the left hand side. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to look over at the right hand side of this. And so on the right hand side I have a couple sets of parentheses. So firstly I'm going to do A union B. A union B are the blue circle and the pink circle, so any region down here in the blue and the pink circle. And so those are the regions 1 and 2 and 3 and then 4 and 5 and finally 6. Then I'm going to go through an A union C. A union C are the blue circle and the black circle that I'm going to, to look at. And so the blue and the black circle are these ones right here. So I'm going to look at those ones. And so A union C is 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 and 6 and finally seven. Those are the puzzle pieces that would be glued together. So finally what I want to do is I want to intersect those two things, so the intersection, and so I want to know what puzzle pieces uh, do they have in common. And so they have one in common, you can see it right here. They have two in common, 
They do not have three in common, but they do have four in common, five in common, and then last but not least, they have six in common. And so then at the very end, after you have determined what regions are represented by the left side and the right side of this equality, you compare. Do they have the same thing? Well, on the left, it's one, two, four, five, six. On the right, it's one, two, four, five, six. So that means, yes, these are equal no matter what sets we choose.